Hi, this is Filament Games. Um, my name is Luke, and I'm a game designer here, and we're going to take a look at RoboCode today. With me is... Uh, I'm Meg. I'm the 3D artist. I'm Joe. I'm the officially the UX guy, but I'm also like a bit of everything on the project. I'm Bo Shane. I'm a tools and gameplay engineer on the project. And I'm Jonathan. I'm lead engineer. Uh, so, uh, RoboCo, if for anyone out there that doesn't know, is a robot building sandbox game that we're working on. Uh, it was funded from a, a grant from the National Science Foundation. Uh, and in it, you build robots out of different um, parts, motors and gears and rods, and uh, hook up controls to those robots and use them to solve challenges uh, in uh, settings with these kind of squishy human characters that you see here. Um, so I think we this this particular challenge that we're looking at is a, a bistro setting where you're trying to deliver a sandwich to a table a uh, customer at the table at the back of the the bistro uh, and is sort of deceptively simple. <laughs> it's it's a little harder than it looks. Uh, and I think we're going to start off with Joe and John just talking a little bit about how you build a robot in this game. Maybe let's. Let's build a robot. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally the first time this has happened. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> so generally, we start out with um, a block part. And you can see on the left, we have an inventory of parts, which yeah. you will build your robot out of. Um, Structural parts, joints, wheels, gears, motors. And, you know, I'm going to build one from scratch here. All right. And yeah, all right. So, so we're gonna put it on this motor side. Here. DC so motor. So it'll just spin forwards or backwards at at a Which target RPM. Drives a rod. I can resize that rod and slap a wheel on there. All right, and this should drive. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm done. <laughs> all right, so it's actually spinning the wrong way but you can go into the properties and flip the direction. And now it should be going forward. Yeah, you can see like RPM, torque, acceleration, all that fun jazz. All right, I'm gonna group this. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna copy, paste. There we go. And I can copy, paste more. Flip them around. That. Oh, not quite. There we go. Alright, so he's on the right side. Now I'm actually going to swap these so they're going forward. Now it should just drive straight. Look at that. Awesome. Now I probably want to control this guy. So I can set those up by going into the controls panel here, selecting all my wheels. And we have like two hand system here, so we have one for the left hand and the right hand. And we're doing this left and right hand because we're also VR. And in VR you only have like the two hands for yeah, controls. Two controllers. And yeah. So allow you to use both those hands to, to control your robot. So our left hand is WASA. S A D E Q, and uh, I'm gonna hook W up to spin forward on all those motors, and I'm gonna make S spin reverse, and now I should have forward and back. Yeah, nice. and I'm turning. Ah, um. <laughs> we're good. But that's pretty easy too tank controls. This is going to be left. So I want these going reverse. Let's forward. This is going to be right. Reverse. Forward. Oh, now I can go left and right. Yeah. So it's all different schemes you could set up for, for steering, but that's a kind of a very simple tank control style. Um, you could build a, a cart with, say, a, a control arm and do more traditional like car-like steering. Mm -hmm. But this is kind of a nice way to just get up and running. So you got like heads too. 
So these are constructs and these are just groups of parts. So like all these are individual parts. Um, we also have the wheels just for quick accessibility. I'm gonna put a join up on here. While you're doing Make this, we talked briefly about uh, the setting of the sim while you're building the robot. The bistro? Yes. Yeah, so where are we? I have no idea. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so this challenge is set in uh, a bistro setting. Um, you can see in the upper right hand corner uh, of the gameplay there, there's a set of objectives that you're trying to complete. So in this case, yeah, you have a sandwich. You can see that positioned above the robot, where you drop down. Um, and then on the other side of the room, uh, there is a table um, that you need to get the sandwich to. Um, and optionally, you can bring the plate there. That would also be good. Um, and if you manage to keep the sandwich and the plate together, <laughs> that's even better. Um, so, Joe is building this robot, there. I think, to... Smash! <laughs> right. Oh, he broke the sandwich. But it played. Right, so it's, played possible, still it's possible to get the challenge into a state <laughs> where yeah. you are no longer able to complete the challenge by, say, destroying the sandwich or causing the plate to break. Um, uh, and so if you do that, the game actually tells you in that objective's UI that, hey, this has now failed. Yep. Um, yeah. And since all the challenges are, you know, pretty short, um, hopefully this will mean that people don't spend too yeah. much time in, uh, you know, a particular run that they can't complete, uh, which means they'll That's great. Wait more. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta slow that down a little bit. Attempting the catapult run. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have oh, seen this be successful yeah. before. All right, I'm just gonna launch it forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shift doesn't. If you adjust the minimap angles, I think, then. Uh, that's uh, true. You can control let's let's the, make uh, this angle. Yeah, I zoom in. So I'm going to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening. So, this is a servo motor that's been controlled, which is a positionally controlled motor. Yeah. Um, and we can set some angle limits. You can see the, the pink uh, yeah. line to the counterclockwise movement. You can see that showing up in the. So now it's only going to go this that far. Well. Yeah. It's not enough, I don't think. No. And let's adjust this. Back a little bit more. Oh! <laughs> there we go. All right, loaded. Ball! <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, you got the plate there. Don't step on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get it to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I think you can do better. Yeah. Nope, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the challenge. All right, so what's it now? Like, keep it on the... Keep on the together. plate? Yeah. It's impossible. Get out well. the table. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oops. RPM's still okay. crazy high. Hold on. <laughs> also, it doesn't have to stay on the plate the entire time. It just has to be on the plate when the when human presents with it. Yes, yes. So you could have them separate and then restack them later. Lady was very interested Whoa. in your robot just there. Uh, oh. <laughs> very close. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try again. <laughs> oh. Dang it. You know, that back uh, panel is Yeah, really it's cool. gone. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> mm. 
Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got our floppy humans just going at it. <laughs> Having a good day. The uh, the AI is very advanced. <laughs> let me tell you. That is the future. It is, yeah. Is it? Oh, it's Spoiler. Oof, I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. You never told me where I was. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're we're in a warehouse of sorts. This is true. Challenges take place on these nice little sets. Remove the UI for Wait, a second. This isn't a real restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be. It could be a real restaurant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the idea of all of these settings is that they're um, they're the world's most overly elaborate like testing uh, center right inside of a, a robot testing oh. laboratory. Oh. Um, so they set up oh. this zone um, for product design, um, and uh, that's why you're seeing this kind of like warehouse uh, paraphernalia around the, the faux faux restaurant. Center. So when do we right. start? Uh, okay, we're good. Okay. Um, yeah, so I like to make robots for these challenges that aren't necessarily, like, what they're supposed to be. So, like, I like making animals out of robot parts, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> dog bot. I th- yeah, I think it's gonna be an, uh, like, an abridged version of dog bot. Here we go. And then I'll, I'll probably show a finished dog bot at the end. He can actually do the challenge surprisingly well. Alright, we saved Dogbot, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's in the, like, the save menu. You can pull him out at the end. Alright, I'm gonna make a Corgi version. <laughs> so he's gonna be real short and cute. And yeah, I like to use, like, all these tiny parts, because I feel like I'm devin all the time, so I don't get to. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, pull the construct out, make, does it work, kind of thing. So now I'm like, I like to flex my art <laughs> on this <Yeah>. game. <laughs> it's like working in pixel art. Yeah, it's like voxels, yeah. but like I can just <laughs> pull them out and like make a dog. Yeah, we haven't done our uh, coloring system yet, but oh, yeah. that'll open a whole new world. Yes. Oops. Yeah, boom, and I got a leg. Nice mm-hmm. Corgo leg. So I'm gonna group it. All right, and now sometimes I like to use the constructs because it's just like I spend all day making a corgo and I need just wheels. Sometimes. Boom. I think Dogbot has the wheels on the inside, I can't remember. Um, He's, wheels, he's, yeah, he's like the, one of the wheelchair dogs, like they have oh, the yeah. like <laughs> the wheels in the back. <laughs> Oops, that's too big. Ugh. Yeah. All right, here we go. Of course, I'm like hella slow. <laughs> Um, yeah, so one of the other animals that I made in the past is Pigeon Bot, and he's he's kind of prime in our marketing. <laughs> he shows up a few times, so keep an eye out. Um, he's pretty legendary. Alright, so I'm got a cute dog leg in the front. Did, did Pigeon Bot actually start from um, the fact that it was a bistro and the idea of like a pigeon is just like hanging around looking for food or was that just a coincidence that happened? Yeah, I feel like that's a better branding for him, but like <laughs> I did not think of that at the time. I think it was like early warehouse or something and it was just like I'm gonna make an animal and it started off with like a bird and then the beak was more pigeon like so I was like he's a pigeon. He's the best pigeon. Alright, nice and short little corgo. Okay, cool. I can't make a nice little Corgo bun, but <laughs> we're, we'll do our best. I can make like a little Corgo tail. All right. Make it a wobbly tail. Yeah. I always forget where things are. There we go. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, I'm wait, not. I just gotta move that. Are you the sure? Side. Oh <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. See, you gotta be symmetrical. It just. It just <laughs> 
throws me off. Yeah, there we go. All right. Pull that back leg. And then we need no. What one? Like, oh. Yeah, the back leg and then the front leg is. Oh really? Yeah, there's a lot of. Come on, man. Where, where's my team here? Like <laughs> right build here. blind. Yeah, right here. <laughs> All right, back to business. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, the head is always the hardest because you're just like. I need a bobbly head too, though. Oh god, it's too many demands from the crowd. <laughs> Can't work under these conditions. <laughs> This is always the hard part. It's like making a snoot. It's kind of like a long snoot. Yes, okay. Oops. I just wanna. Oops, okay. All right, he's gonna be a little funky, but you know, we'll go with it. Hmm. It's always hard to tell when he doesn't have features, so I'm gonna put some features on him. Gotta have little dog mouth. See, he's coming together. He's coming, yeah, and now you're like, okay. No, okay, choice of eyes. It's always the hardest part. Mm, I feel he's too, uh, too serious. The Ooh, oh, the other way? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Super happy. Oh yes, I see I it now. Yeah, I see it. I He's beautiful. No, <laughs> one each way. No, no, no. Looks sly. It's just like <laughs> God. Oh, my delivering a sandwich. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I shall eat the sandwich. <laughs> Okay, now we need some ears, obviously. All right, they're kind of far back, but you'll see, you'll see in a sec why. All right, and this is gonna be the most dapper Corky cause he's gonna have a fedora. Oops, oh, there we go, fedora. He's beautiful, <laughs> cherish him. Uh, <laughs> The goodest boy. <laughs> okay, and guess what? He can actually do this challenge. Because he's the best boy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Gently, gent. Oh, he's spicy. You see, he's a little, he's a little sparky. Can do it. Oh, he's a little too fast. All right, let's, let's take him down a notch. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, I might want to set part PM. Oh, is that too fast too? Okay. Bonk. Yeah. Yeah, smooth ride. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> You're in my way. <laughs> yeah, really Do you mind? <laughs> I'll just take you with. Let's go. He just really loves the Corgo. Oh. Oh, I helped you knock it over. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I knocked it out. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> so you can see here we have two zones. There's a good enough and a target zone. Uh, and that's just to make challenges more forgiving. Same same logic behind the required and the bonus objectives. So that as you go through and iterate, Excuse uh, me, sir, I don't you have some early that. success, but then there's some more things to try. Later. All right. So yeah, this is like an on the fly iteration of definitely more dapper uh, dog bot. But cool thing is, oops. See, I did the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> Delete. Okay. So now in this beautiful. <laughs> we yeah, there uh, cannot be two dog uh, bots, uh, it just cannot. The preview pictures are missing from there, but that's oh. just saving and loading. <laughs> he, he needs a tweak, I think. His wheels are too big. We'll see in a sec. But yeah, this is OG dog bot, um, and then with a few modifications, he becomes deer bot, because uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, nice. let's make some antlers, because we're cool like that, if I can. Put them on. Oh, the ears. I think that's why I had to put the ears on the side. Bonk. Bonk. 
You can do it. You're not gonna work? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> ghosts. I know, be, some ghosts. Like. Once. You get one I'm horn. Yeah, there you go. You're beautiful. <laughs> 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 All right, you're gonna do this challenge too. There you go. Cool thing is you can see the shadow. So, dog bots. This is like the Charlie Brown special mm. with the, the or, Grinch. Or with the Grinch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Odie or something? Max. 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 <laughs> The most obvious dog name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, uh, this will ruin its uh, sandwich carrying ability, but just because my favorite cosmetic, that wind up key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can put it on somewhere that it won't. <laughs> like, put it on the tail. Put it on side. Yeah, on side, I guess. Yeah, I just love this one. It works. <laughs> <laughs> the side, yeah. Those are a low tech robot. Yep. Complete with He's rubber band inside somewhere that you can't see. There you go. He's beautiful. Yeah, we got a whole belt system. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. I think my favorite cosmetic is definitely the unicorn horn. Okay. And maybe bubbles. I think bubbles are tied. Yeah, bubbles is also pretty great. Boom. <laughs> I just gave away the secret, but you get. Look at oh, he's just he's just <laughs> too too powerful. <laughs> too powerful for his own good. Let's turn him down a little bit. Right, he's gonna be a slow doggo. Oh, he's still too fast. <laughs> there we go. We <laughs> oh, wait for the good sir. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna drift and do a backup oh, well, well, into oh. the spot. Look out. This is how I want my food served. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just like dog butt first. <laughs> there you go. Good enough, right? You got it. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, it's on my head. Oh, no. Got this. Got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Okay. Oof. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Let's see bird bot. Yeah, let's see bird bot. He's primo. Or pigeon bot. Here he is in all his glory. Oh, yeah. My favorite. With the eternal side eye to judge <laughs> you forever. <laughs> all right. And then, yeah, his, like, this little head is, like, perfect for all of the little cosmetics. So, like, he can be a witchy boy. Or you know what? You know he's gonna be a plant, plant grandma, cause he's got the best plant grandma hat. There it is. <laughs> there it is with the bow on the side. It's beautiful. Gotta put some plants on. Yeah, right. Plants. We got we got all your plant needs. I'm down to Roboco Plant Factory. There you go. <laughs> you want a little sprout? Go. Get a sprout. There you go. Boom. No, 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 your envious pigeon friends <laughs> that <almost laughs> can't really works. do the challenge, <laughs> but you know, he's, he's got the. <laughs> springy bat hat. Oh yeah. The, only the springiest of hats. <laughs> he's just too. He's too fast for his own good. He always is. I made him like really fast in the beginning because he had places to go, mm. but now he's just too fast. Oh. 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 Oh, well. Firmly, no. aww. <laughs> Put another sprout. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got Starts it. Starts doing an extra yeah, 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 job. Yeah, yeah, Come on, up. sprout. <laughs> Who knew he could get challenges accomplished with cosmetics? Here you go. <laughs> aww. That almost worked. You know what's better for Birdbot? A bird friend. Oh. He's just chilling. Bird friend. Gently, gently. Oh, but yeah, he's the coolest. <laughs> and yeah, he's, he's like all made up of little parts. So like the little dog bot that I just made is like made up of all these same parts, pretty much. Look at those wings flap. And yeah, he's got some beautiful servo wings that just like continually flap back and forth on little springs. So if you hit something with them, they like adapt 
They're like his little buoys to keep him from getting in trouble, but he does anyway. And he's like, he's pretty much untippable. Like, it's pretty hard to tip him and not be able to get back up. Yeah. I love how he tilts back when he's trying yeah, to he's like, what? <laughs> get off the ground, but. Watch out. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I am going to try to build a robot that can do this last bonus objective, which is keeping the sandwich on the plate. So when we deliver it, we want the plate to be right below the sandwich. So. All right, uh, and then, yeah, I'm just, it's probably, I mean, it's, it's, it involves intense concentration. So <laughs> here I go. <laughs> uh, while I'm doing this, um, Hoshin, did you want to say a little bit about just like, uh, how do, how do these objectives work and like how do we hook them up to the to the scene? Sure. Um, so at its core, Roboco is about like um, challenging the player to think about the robots they're building in sort of like interesting and critical ways. And one of the ways we achieve that is by giving them a lot of different kinds of objectives. Um, so in order to do that, we actually need the system uh, to be able to accommodate a huge variety of objectives, and we don't have um, the time to build a custom engineering solution for every single type of thing. So um, the objectives are actually driven by um, a tool we built called RuleScript, not associated with another RuleScript. Um, <laughs> uh, so RuleScript is... Um, essentially a scripting uh, engine um, uh, based on like a, really it's like if you, if you can make a statement that says, uh, if this thing happens and these conditions are true, execute this set of actions. Um, so in this challenge, um, the conditions that we have um, driving the objectives are fairly simple. If the sandwich enters one of the zones, um, and it meets the criteria for being accepted into the zone. For example, not being broken or you know, being upright. Um, then we can declare that an objective is completed. Um, similarly, if uh, it stops being in that zone, then we can um, revert that objective and say, oh, actually, it's, the player hasn't completed it yet. Um, the system we have for actually checking um, whether or not objects are within a particular area is fairly sophisticated, I would say. Um, so we can test, you know, what parts of the object are in those zones. We can test if they're moving, if they've stopped moving, if they're rotating. Um, we can check uh, what orientation they're at. So, for example, um, in this case, the, um, the objective for bringing the sandwich to the table has three different um, three different levels at which you can complete it. There's bringing it to the area around the table on the floor, and that's good enough. Um, there's bringing it to the table itself, and that's great. If you can get it on the table and you can get it upright, that's perfect. Um, so that's driven by those sets of um, like zone criteria that I described earlier. Um, we do a similar thing with keeping the sandwich on the plate. So that plate actually has a, um, a little zone on it to detect the sandwich. Uh, but it has a couple additional pieces of criteria on it. One of which is that the sandwich is actually positioned uh, above the plate. Uh, how's, how's your attempt going here to keep it on? Yeah, I'm uh, basically just trying to set this up so that uh, I have some uh, heavier blocks on the bottom to just like keep from tipping because I'm doing this kind of L-shaped thing. And the reason I'm doing it is just because the table is going to slot like right into this open area here. Uh, and then I'm going to try to like drop, like hold the sandwich in this zone here and then like drop it uh, from that area. Nice. Um, so yeah, what I'm basically about to do is put the like... Uh, I don't know what to call it. The like at the bottom, the trap door. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Um, here, uh, and then I'm gonna put it on a 
motored hinge so that I can open it at the appropriate time. Uh, and then we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so I'm just rotating this around and then let me see if this does what I want. So I can move, got my sandwich in there, and then oh wait, attached. I'm, I'm attached, right. So this actually gets into one of the more advanced things. You can see here there's this little red blinky light. And what it's telling me is it, it's unable to rotate. And the reason it's unable to rotate is because um, there is a bolt here, basically. Um, so anytime you attach a part in Roboco, um, there are these like joint attachments, not not the big moving joints, but just like the, in this case, it's like bolted here. So surface. I'm gonna take that away, a surface joint, yeah. Um, so I'm taking that away, and then now it's free to rotate again. I can go out of this mode, um, and then now my trap door can open, uh, and I have like just enough clearance to spin this around. <laughs> So now I'm gonna try this. Um, yeah, I think it a little bit. bit start. Yeah, I think my starting position should be it's like a little more there. back. And then probably I want to actually take the. Um, actually, I'm just gonna show this so you can back select here, uh, and then all those motors are selected here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna increase the acceleration and the braking time, just because then it won't um, kick as much when I start moving it. Yeah. All right. Oh God, got me. <laughs> okay. So now uh, I'm also holding Shift now to just like go a little slower, kind of nudge it in to place, turn, and then now this looks pretty well positioned. So I get like the optimal victory angle. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> devastating! All right, do it one more time. The speed on that motor that opens it. This one? Yeah. What a like really fast. Try. How fast? Let's see how good it is. Yeah, it's still pretty yeah. slow, yeah. Okay. So let's we kind of try. just like whip to the all side. Way. All the way, all right. All I've been told to do it all the way. Okay. Why is it still so so slow? Right? That is something that's There's weird. There's something catching it. Why is this the correct motor? Might need to, yeah, take that whole assembly. Oh, well, bring up the torque of it. Oh, oh yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe it's just too yeah, yeah. small to move it. That's fine. Exit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to go flying. Yes. All right, we'll see what happens. Well, uh, okay. that's not that bad. Yeah, actually, oh. that, that way is bad because then it's going to go flying. But if it just wants to go backward, it's not that bad. That's so we'll do that. Okay. I'm an engineering genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Right. In, turn, a little more, and then. Oh, oh nice. Hey. All right. Yeah, so yeah. that's just to show that uh, there's many different ways you might come up with to solve a challenge. It's a scorpion bot. Yeah, I gotta name it Scorpion Bot. <laughs> That's true. Because every robot has to end with Scorpion Bot. bot. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Scorpion Bot. Scorpion, That's scary. Like. Right. You don't want to go with Scorpion. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I guess it should be. So <laughs> thanks, yeah. thanks very much for checking out the game with us. Uh, this is just to give you a preview of a uh, Roboco warehouse space that we've been working on. and. Um, we're also prototyping additional challenges. We're always adding new things to the robot building. Um, and uh, if you didn't already come from here, uh, we have a dev blog at roboco.co. You can follow along with our progress, and we post updates every couple weeks. Uh, and you can also wishlist us on Steam. And thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.